Hi everybody. We're here at the Boating Lake in Cleethorpes, which is right on the edge of the beach. It's a fabulous lake which you can take a walk around, you can feed the ducks or even take a row on the lake. Today we're going to be learning all about the wildlife here with the help from Ashley at the Lincolnshire Outdoor Learning. So let's go and explore. Hi Ashley. Hello oh, Becky. What a gorgeous morning. Fantastic, it's great on a sunny day. It really is and we're so lucky to have the boat in Lake. Ashley, can you tell us a little bit about the wildlife here? Yeah, certainly. The fantastic thing about the boating lake is that the birds generally are here all year round. So you can see them almost any time. So why do they like it here so much? Well, they've got this great uh, lake to swim around in, so there's plenty of water for them. And also these islands are really good protection for them at, in the evenings, particularly when they go to sleep. Protection from foxes or protection from dogs and things like this. And of course, uh, people come to feed them as well. So here we've got the, the mute swans, so they don't make too much noise but they do hiss. And also we've got the grey like geese, so they're the ones with the grey feathers and the orange beaks. We've got the, the mallards, so the male mallard has got the green head and the female mallard is much more brown. We also get the barnacle geese and um, of course um, we get the moorhens. nearly finished our walk of the boat in lake but we're just going to meet up with Ashley see if he can tell us anything more what are we looking at here Ashley so again we're still on the boating lake but at, uh, on the bridge over the boating lake and uh, what we can see over on this side is the planting rafts that um, because there's no soil along the edges of the boating lake what they've got is this raft system where they've actually planted plants into the rafts that have got soil in there so that the plants can grow and then these will be perfect habitat for lots of small animals for some of the birds to eat and then we were sort of saying already that um, a lot of these birds live here all year round but also the boating lake will attract migrating birds particularly over the winter uh, coming in from the coast just over the bridge and up the steps and look, you can see the Humber Estuary. Let's go and investigate. So we often refer to this as the sea, but it's actually like a river that leads to the sea and it's known as an estuary. This is the Humber Estuary and it leads to the North Sea. Let's go find Ashley so that he can tell us more. Ashley, what's so special about the Humber? Well, it's a, a fantastic place to be, whether you're visiting or you're a local. It's also great for migrating birds and for the wildlife that live here. One of the fantastic things about it that's quite interesting is that uh, you've said already that this is a river flowing out to sea. Now, all the mud that flows along with the river actually gets deposited here as the tide comes in because the tide will come in and cover all of this area with salty seawater covering all of these plants and it'll drop some mud and then it'll go back out to sea again and that means that uh, these salt marsh plants uh, do a fantastic job at surviving here where a lot of other plants wouldn't survive and this of course makes it a great habitat for any migrating bird that's coming here looking for food and shelter. So what's this Ashley? So this is uh, sea buckthorn. It's quite an interesting plant uh, but it is a little bit spiky so do watch out for it. It's got these orange berries at a certain time of the year 
Um, but um, it is actually quite internationally rare. But locally, here at Cleethorpes, uh, we've got plenty of it. Wow, what's this? Well, these strange rubbery plants are called samphire and um, they're actually edible and some people do eat them and pickle them and eat them. When do you see the birds here? Uh, well, generally, when the tide comes in, it comes in and covers the salt marsh and that pushes the birds all the way up to the shore. And that's a really good time to see the birds. When the tide goes out, uh, the birds go further out to sea in order to feed further out. So thanks for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed the walk around the boating lake and a little bit of insight into the wildlife in Cleethorpes. The next time you're here, make sure that you keep a lookout for all of the ducks and birds that we've talked about and enjoy your exploring around the Lincolnshire coastline.